Hi, welcome to Magnificent Porto. And what I've been doing here, I'm looking at a parabola. Check out that beast. What a parabola that is. It's even got a tangent on the top. Yes. Parabola! There we go, there's another shot. Just without me in front of it, okay? Look at that. Look at that all day long. Parabola! And here we are, I'm a bit close up now, and on foot. So I'll just appreciate the architecture of this building. It's amazing. There we go. So from there, two parabola there. All the way to this side. It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Amazing feat of engineering. And of course, let's not forget the actual town of Porto itself. And there's the beautiful parabola yet again. See the tram on top? Excellent example of the tangent to this absolutely fantastic curve. So, I'm now standing on top of that parabola bridge. See? There we go. Magnificent Porto. And because this video's got a bit of maths in it, here's a cone. Ooh, there we go cone on top of a parabola. Yes, I know, circular functions. And there used to be spheres in here, <laughs> circular shapes, but I've um, eaten it. So, we had enough of parabolas yet? No, here's another one. Fantastic. So, are there any more? Yes, of course there are. Here is the river of parabolas. Parabola and a tangent on top. You can't get better than that, can you? Parabola! Now, look what I found. A cube. A cube in Porto. Nice, nice. It doesn't really go with parabola, does it? A cube. Um, of course, you can't have a square as a three-dimensional object, but it is still a nice object. And what's that I see behind me? Yes, it is a catenary. <laughs> Having fun here in Porto. There we go. It's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed this video all about... Parabola! Yeah, indeed. Parabolas. See you again. Bye-bye.